Hey friends, thanks for tuning into this video. Today we're going to be talking about pastels. Um, I subscribe to a art subscription box service. I'm going to start by saying uh, this video is not sponsored. I'm not getting any kind of kickbacks for this whatsoever. However, I will tell you what that art box subscription service is. It's called Sketchbox. This is one of my sketch boxes that came in the mail. And it's a great subscription service. Every month they send you a this box full of art supplies. Each month has a theme. Um, I am going to be showing you some a lot of the materials that I got in the July box. The July box was all about pastels. So today I did my very first ever pastel drawing and that is right here I made that today very first time trying it and I think it turned out pretty cool make I'll show you a little bit better here there it is so I, I had fun making it, so I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna sh I'm gonna do this video so that you guys can see exactly what I did and what I used and what came in the box. Um, if you are interested in Sketchbox, you can go to getsketchbox.com, and I'll actually put a link in the description because if you use my link, then I get points and I might get a free Sketchbox, and I'm okay with that but that is the only kind of uh, free anything I would get from this. But I do, I really do love Sketchbox. They're, it's very cool, always comes with cool supplies. And like I said, July's was pastels. So what they sent me is this set of pastels here. It's Rembrandt brand in Earth Reds. They also sent me a gray pastel stick. I don't remember what brand this was, but it's gray. And by Van Gogh, they sent me turquoise blue and also by Van Gogh, light yellow. Also in the box were these two pastel pencils by Holland, black and white. These two Conta crayons I actually did use in my drawing. They did not come in the July box. They came in the June box. So, but they are Conte, Conte a Paris, Sepia and Sanguine. Um, and I believe they are Conte, Conte crayon pencils. So those are I, I will also be using those and a pencil because I do my initial sketch with just a regular this is Kimberly this was not sent to me in a sketch box I've used Kimberly pencils for years they also sent in the box these awesome smudge sticks that we can use to smudge our pastels I'm actually gonna reach over here grab my apron because pastels are very dusty and they get a little messy. I do like that about them because I like to have my art on my hands because it makes me feel like I'm doing something. So, the very first thing I'm going to do because I'm just gonna go ahead and recreate this. I'm gonna make a couple of changes, I think. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually sketch sketch out um, just a rough sketch of what I want to make. So there's my horizon line. And then I had the, the sh general shape of the body. in the head. 
head, I can keep it really rough because the hair is going to be covering most of that. I decided that she is wearing a bathing suit. She's wearing a very low-backed bathing suit. And kind of that 50s style. Low back, but not high-legged either. And she's got her left leg kind of in front of her right leg, so I'm gonna do more detail. With the right leg, there we go. So, just a general rough sketch. And I did give her a little bit of a shape over here too. All right. This one looks a little better than that one. That's all right. You're going to get the idea. So next thing I did was I made my background, my ocean first. So I'm going to go in with my blue. And it goes on very, very smooth. I like it. But I'm going to add some sunlight onto it also. So I'm going to go in with my yellow and add some sunlight here in the water also. Now in my, then actually, so in my water, then I'm going to now use this big old um, smudge stick and smooth things. I'm also going to wipe it off a little bit because it seems like there's still some color on it from the last time. So I'm going to smooth, I'm just going to take this and I'm going to smooth. You can also use your finger to smooth. But I'm really liking the way these smudge sticks work and how precise I can get with them. So now this this is kind of letting me blend sort of when when I use acrylics, I like to blend my colors on the canvas. So this is sort of letting me do that. So I added my color and now I get to blend it all together how I want right on the paper. Oh, and I should say too, they also sent me this paper, both sh both of these sheets of paper. They are 400 grit, kind of almost a sandpaper paper. So that really grabs onto all of the uh, pastel dust and really helps it along. The pastels won't stick as well to a smoother paper. So having that grit there, really helps. Blend this side. wipe that off so I don't forget to later. I'm just wiping it on my apron. I know there's better ways to do it. I do know that they said that you can even use a pencil sharpener to sharpen these and to kind of take some of that pigment off. <coughs> Excuse me. I have cats and I'm allergic to them. So that's the coughing. <laughs> so then I'm going to take my very lightest color that they sent. Um, which I don't know if they give them names. Let's find out. No, just numbers. So, but they are uh, 
again they're the earth red so this is the very lightest color in the set so I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna put that I'm gonna just color on where I want my highlights are going to be a lot of her skin Then I'm going to take my next lightest red and I'm going to start adding in color to where the shadows are going to be. those together. I'm going to use this slightly smaller, the medium sized sponge stick for this. Because I don't need to get super precise, but I do, I want it, but it's smaller areas than the background was. So now again, I am mixing them right on my paper. And they're pretty opaque pigments, so if you notice, it is kind of going over the pencil, the original pencil drawing. So it, my pencil drawing was not and did not have to be a perfect drawing because these colors are going to take over. And because I'm starting with the lightest colors, this section with her hair, it's okay that I'm going over it because the section with the hair will cover, the darker color will cover the lighter colors. I'm actually already liking this one a little bit better than this one because I put the shadows in some of the wrong places on the original. So I am fixing some of those issues in this piece, in this drawing. <sighs> and you'll notice I am blowing the dust off of it as I go also to help with making sure the colors are placed where I want them. My next step in this drawing is going to be my next step in this drawing which is I am going to take my second to darkest color and I'm going to use that for the bathing suit to start the bathing suit. And I'm going to just first outline so I know where my bathing suit is. pigment kind of where her buttocks would kind of pop out and have highlights on it because then we are going to take the stick again use the 
this side. And I'm going to smooth and smooth out that area. But as we go over it, that way I'm also using that blank space as kind of a way to protect the highlights. So I'm still going to have the color there, but it's going to give that nice gradient effect. And this is another piece, in, part of this drawing that I feel like I learned from that drawing and I'm going to do a little bit better in this one. So the next thing, I'm going to move on to the hair um, before we start adding a whole lot of shading and texture. So the hair, I'm going to start with the exact middle red, Cut just to, because that's going to be the main color of my hair. So in this drawing, she's kind of got her hands up in her hair, she's trying to get it out of her face, maybe ruffling her hair a little bit, so that's the kind of lines I'm going to be following with this. But I want some of it, of course, to cascade down her back. So I'm just going to kind of swirl this so it goes down her back. my smallest smudger and really get that detail going all up in here. So for the C I used the, the turquoise blue and the light yellow. For the sky, I'm going to use the gray and the turquoise blue because I want it to separate from the sea. So we're going to start with the gray and really get the gray going well at that horizon line to add the separation. But after that, I'm just going to take the very long edge of the, the pastel and just kind of scrape it along. Going kind of around my figure. Again, the initial put down of color doesn't have to be pretty. Kind of is, but it doesn't have to be. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go in and add some blue areas, especially where there's a lot of area where the paper is coming through. Maybe a lot at the top. Then I'm going to go back in with my big smudger again and just start blending.
right now I'm kind of playing with different directions of smudging, seeing what it does. I kind of like the circular motion, so I might go back and smudge in a circular motion to some of these other areas, because I was very much going horizontal in these areas. So, I kind of like, especially for the sky, the circular, the circular motion, kind of give it that bokeh effect. And I'm giving her more hair. Ah. Clean up. I'm finding, and I'm actually just learning, figuring this out right now as I do this, that if you work from the outsides back into your edges, then you are less likely to screw up with what I just did with getting your dark colors into your background. However, it's looking really nice. I like it. Then I'm going to take my little itty bitty smudge stick. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more of this, these two colors over here. Then I'm going to take the itty bitty smudge stick. I am going to literally just pick up some of the color of that. I'm going to do the circular motion thing. And I'm gonna just take that sponge stick with the color on it and come over here so I can get into this little tiny area between her arm and her head. I'm, and I didn't blow the loose pastel off over here, so I'm going back and picking more up. Coming to the other side. Yet again, bring more of that color in over there. Cool. So now that's filled in. So now we're going to go back in with some more detail. Um, fix that a little bit. So now is when I'm going to start using the black and white pastel pencils. So I'm going to go ahead and add. Just some details. I don't like to use black terribly much in my compositions, but it is really great for the contrast and the shadows. So just on my darkest portions. I do want to add some definition between the legs. So that you know where the legs separate. And I'm going to add some definition in the deep parts of the hair. Again, adding contrast. following kind of the lines of the hair and the way it's moving. Then I'm going to go in with the white pastel and add that where our brightest highlights would be. hair is shining. I 
think I need to sharpen this one. take my detail smudger again and wipe it off now they did said say you could sharpen these so let's see what happens I don't see that happening <laughs> maybe they said an electric pencil sharpener I don't know but in any case I'm just gonna take my detail smudger Get those highlights blended a bit. And the shadows. I'm going to make sure those are nice, soft, shadowy areas rather than just black lines. chose to draw this particular subject is that what came in my sketch box was li a limited color palette so I didn't have a whole lot of colors to work with and this popped into my head as something I could use all the different colors with um, and stay within that limited palette so that was kind of the inspiration I just said the reds could work well for skin, for human skin, um, and and hair, uh, and then the blues, of course, could be great for our um, sky and ocean. Plus, I'm going to the beach in a couple of weeks. So this is kind of, that was also a little bit inspiring. I'm just going to add a little more definition with the pigment I have left on my stick. Probably made this like too thin, but it's just it's out in front. It's, it's here. Let's add let's add more shadow. The more shadow I add to this leg, the more it will be separated from the other leg. And she's taking a bigger step. That's what's happening. That is what's happening. So it's just hidden. It's hidden behind this leg, which is probably also still too skinny, but that's okay because this is also a bit abstract. It's not exactly a life drawing. Now I could also go in and add more definition. Standing back, I think I really like this. Um, although I do kind of feel like this leg does need a little more meat on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little more area to her leg.
I am also finding that pastels are pretty forgiving. I can really go in and rework things after the fact, which I kind of, which I always like. And I'm used to with acrylics. So now I've got this fingerprint. Ooh. If you're gonna work out your fingerprints, make sure you're using a like color on your smudge stick. So I'm gonna go back in here. A little bit of turquoise. Just a little yellow. That fingerprint. So at some point my camera stopped recording and I didn't realize it. So you guys missed the very end. I did make her leg a little thicker because I thought it was way too thin. Um, I added a lot of definition with the black and the white pastel pencils. Um, all in all though, I really, I'm enjoying pastels. I like them. I like this one way better than this one. Of course, this was my first try, second try, you know. And I don't know, I like the way the figure is. I like she's more curvy, she seems a little more real. And I don't know, I just, I feel like this one obviously ended up way better than this one. So again, I will post a link if you're interested in Sketchbox. I will post a link of how you can um, check that out in the description below. I will also post my links to my social media, how you can find me other places online. So again, thank you guys for, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you go out there and get creative.